What's up, dudes? Welcome back to another video to Sound Stuff. Today I'm going to be uh, covering a very fun topic. It's the letter Thorn. Um, so, yeah. Um, and you don't get to see below my neck because I said so. Um, the reason why I haven't uploaded uploaded in like four weeks or so is because I was having something called the retinization, which is a skin or a skin reaction to the use of a retinoid or sister product, which is um, skincare. It's just skincare. So yeah, my friend gave me a skincare routine to use, and I listened and adverse effects, I guess. But um, it's nothing too bad. Ignore my glancing to the side. I'm like looking at the time and other stuff on my phone because I'm distracted. Well, not other stuff on my phone, but like the stuff of the video. So I'm looking at myself and like the little record button and the time and the, you get the point. Who cares? Also, look at the map. It's very great. Now, like I said, today we're talking about the letter Thorn. Super cool letter. Very fun letter. Um, But anyways, what Thorn is... It's a letter from the, um, well, it's from the Latin alphabet, technically, but only used in really Germanic languages, um, and not really as in, like, extra Germanic, but really as in just Germanic languages, if you know what I mean. Um, it was used in Old English, um, and Middle English, so it was used since English got a script, but it was phased out, um, around the time or in late middle to um, early modern English by the French who prefer to use TH. But what Thorn does, as you can probably assume, because I just talked about the French using TH, it makes a TH sound. Um, and it looks like a weird P, um, but instead of the loop being on the top like it is in P, like this is a P, okay, this is a P, Excuse my horrible P drawing here. There's better, right? This is a thorn, so it's in the middle, all right? And there's B, which is like an upside down P. Um, so you get the point. Um, and D is an inverted P. I'm gonna stop talking about P. It's not the topic of the video. Thorn's the topic of the video. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, it's essentially the same capitalized and lowercase. Um, lowercase is just rounder. Um, so, very similar to P, and while I can't confirm this, I suspect that that's kind of where P gets its basis, where it's kind of, where it kind of comes from, or rather, where Thorn comes from, as when the Germanic tribes adopted the Latin script from, well, guess who, the Latin speakers, the Romans, right? Um, it replaced runic, and... Uh, Thorn is a more runic-looking version of P than P is because some reason. I don't know. I'm not very well-versed on runic script. Um, if you think I should become well-versed on Punic, or Punic, sorry, runic scripts, um, then like and subscribe. But there was actually one used for English as well. Um, at, it was used uh, interchangeably with um, Latin scripts as well. Um, and it was also used by pre-Roman um, um, Britain tribes, British tribes, um, which is pretty cool in my opinion. And they must have gotten that from Germanic tribes um, and Vikings, which are also Germanic. So in fact, or not Vikings, but the um, Old Norse speakers prior to what we'd consider the Viking Age and when there was actual Vikings. Um, but um, what's interesting about this letter is it's still used in Icelandic, despite the fact that it's been phased out of English, which once again proves the whole um, point of it's a Germanic letter. Um, no Romance language, to my knowledge, has ever used the letter Thorn. Um, the TH was adopted from a Romance language, and there's still a Germanic language, though a very obscure one. Um, to that point that uses it. So yeah. Thanks for watching my goofy video about a weird and obscure letter that makes the th sound or th sound if you want to be boring. 
um, known as thorn, because I, I think we should be using it rather than using the L that is TH. Thorn is just better in all ways, and it takes us back to our roots, um, the English-speaking roots, where they initially used thorn. And if we really want to get tr traditional about our script, we should be using runic, but that's too much for basically everybody. So this is a very fun, exciting, interesting compromise, compromise that is somewhat similar to English, where it takes you back to the more Germanic origins. This is a more Germanic English letter than uh, TH is. So I really enjoy it. It's just a fun way to convey the TH point or perspective or point of view, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's what I'll be using now from now on, on research papers in school and other speeches and papers um, in my speech, which, um, as I'm sure y'all have picked up on by now, means actually nothing because TH makes a the or th, 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 th sound, right? And thorn makes a th, 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 th sound. Um, and actually, it's really interesting. We're going to go into a little more depth about the Icelandic keyboard. Um, there's another letter in the Icelandic keyboard that makes a sort of similar sound to thorn. It's called ed or edth. Um, and you can kind of tell there's like a weird th effect created by the edth, right, when I say it that way. Um, and what it looks like, it's kind of like a D. So when it's capitalized, it's boop, boop, and then a line in the middle of the straight line on the D. And when it's lowercase, it's whoop, and then a line at the end, almost like um, the like swingy mace things. I think they're I think they're called maces. I could be completely wrong about that. Um, which is a medieval weapon, if y'all aren't aware, um, or if you're confused. So if that helps you, thanks. And you might be able to help me out as well. But um, it kind of reminds me of that, and yeah, that. Ed is a very cool letter. Ed is a very cool letter as well. I think we should be using it in replacement of D, but the sound that it makes, it can make a TH or an a th, th sound, which is like a DTH in one, um, or just a straight up D. So it's a very versatile letter, in my opinion. Um, I personally think that only thorn should be used instead of TH um, for such instances, but words um, that have Ds that are slightly different than your usual D. Because um, sometimes D and like D, T, H, and T can all have similar, sort of similar sounds. Um, sometimes in T and D situations that have a T, H, or a T sound, you could use ed. Um, and I support using ed. I think it's a very fun letter. Um, anyways, if y'all think I should do numbers next time, um, Leave a comment below if that's actually a joke. I'm definitely not going to be doing uh, numbers or whatever. But um, I think it's very fun. So if you all think this is based content and I actually made a good video from once in my life, uh, like it, subscribe, please. Watch it like a ton. Binge watch this episode. And tell me that I should be doing more. So comment below. Because if this is the content y'all like or y'all find somewhat interesting or that I make decently well, then I ought to be making more of it, don't I? And I will, if that's what people think. I mean, this is very simple. It took me one take. I mean, you can tell that because of the fact that I don't script my videos except for the last one, sort of, kind of. Um, and the fact that I'm just kind of rambling to a degree. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, if you do watch, that is. Um, and considering, if you're to this point, then you obviously did watch the video. So thanks for watching. Um, for those of y'all minutes behind, keep watching, even though y'all can't tell that I'm saying this. Um, subscribe, like the video, comment down below if y'all want more um, similar content to this. Um, and thank you. Goodbye.